Hi there, YouTube! Spidey Chick here. Haven't done a review for quite some time. I just had a big batch of midterms and I finished it yesterday, so what better to do than to do another knife review? Here you go. Introducing, well, it's been around for quite a while actually, the Spyderco Cricut. A lot of reviews have been done on this guy, but I just wanted to share some of my own opinions and my own experiences with this particular knife, Spyderco Cricut, stainless steel version. And it is serrated edge version as well. First off, I'm just going to say I don't normally carry stainless steel knives. I find that there are some cons about it, some pros about it as well. Namely, the bad things. More or less, it's just because the aesthetically it may not be as pleasing as some people just because they tend to scratch a little bit easier than, say, G10. They don't wear in as well. Uh, another thing would be perhaps the fact that they don't have as much grip. They don't have as much traction as, say, uh, G10 here. What about the pros? Why do I carry this? Well mainly just because it is super thin and that kind of goes into what I wanted to talk about next was actually what I use the Spyderco Cricut for and that is for EDC. Probably could have guessed that by its size. I normally, as mentioned before, my EDC knives generally are this little guy, Spyderco Cricut, as well as Spyderco Dragonfly. Compare those thicknesses there. Even thinner than the Spyderco Dragonfly. Absolutely amazing. Let's do a little size comparison here. See if you guys can grasp how small this little guy actually is. Spyderco Cricut. You got the Spyderco Manix 2. It's quite a bit bigger. Let's do our, our friend, the Delica. Delica 4. Okay. And how about let's throw in a little Swiss Army knife here. This is the uh, Swiss Army knife camper. So comparing the blade lengths, obviously this is going to be quite a bit smaller. Let's do some other size comparisons. Maybe if you guys don't have too many Spydercos, how about Strider SMG? Going to be having a review on this guy soon. Just got to do some more testing. All right. Why do I use the serrated edge? Well, pretty much as people say, and it really is true, serrated edges, they, they can really cut through practically anything. It's absolutely amazing. The only thing is, you have to be a little bit more careful with the sharpening. I generally like to use the sharp maker. Uh, just, just do what Sparco suggests, and that really is just going on the, the fine rods and going on the sharp, the corner sections of the Spyderco chart maker and just going to, and going and doing about 20 or 30 passes on each side. I honestly don't do it very often because the serrated edges, they hold for a very long time. Even for VG10, which is absolutely great steel, but it doesn't hold an edge for too long. But with that said, with the serrated edge, with the teeth, it really does last for quite a while. So what exactly does this S-shape curve blade do? Well, essentially when you're when you're holding the knife and you're putting it in your hand, you see that the blade naturally already bends and curves forward. You don't actually have to bend your wrist as much, well, ulnar, ulnar deviate your, your wrist as much as you would otherwise for other, other knives. Dragonfly. So for the same task, I would have to bend it a little bit more to get that same angle that I would have gotten with the Spyderco Cricut doesn't seem like a huge issue, but if you really do use your knives quite a bit, over time it really does make a big difference and you end up feeling a lot less strain in certain areas of your hands, maybe over here. So what about the lockup? Oof. thing I like about the Spyroco Cricut, one of the many things, is that you get a really nice solid snap when you open it. There you go. I mean, let's compare this with, let's say, the Manix 2. Hear the difference? So once again, and Manix 2. I'm sure a lot of you guys have the Manix 2, but 
With that said, quite amazingly, this Spyro Cricket has quite a nice locking sound to it. So is it all nice and dandy with the Spyro Cricket? I wish I could say that it was. Unfortunately, that's not the case. Well, this is more or less of a precaution, if you will. See, as I mentioned before, I got my first Spyrico Cricket as a gift, and that's this one right here. And I unfortunately I misplaced it, and I loved it so much that I bought another one, <laughs> and then quite shortly I found this one. But it is very interesting because what it does is it allows me to more or less have a little time capsule, if you will, to see what the Spyrico Cricket will look like later on. This Spyrico Cricket is quite old. It was actually my friend's knife before, and he used it, he said, for about about two years before he gave it to me. And I've noticed a few things. He actually ran it off the teeth, uh, his preference. I'm not sure if I would do the same, but I actually like the sharp teeth here. So, hear the difference in the snaps? Here, this is the new one. This is the old one. Hear that bit of a clanging? Well, if you notice here, the lock bar actually hits the scale as opposed to the new one. Interesting. Because when I first got this, the lock bar actually was about here. It was about there, about halfway. With about a year of use, it's moved around about a millimeter and I'm suspecting because it's moved quite a bit here, it will eventually be like this. And moving maybe even to hit the scale. It's more or less of a thing to take note of as opposed to actually being a real fault because as my friend said, he used this quite a bit and as I use mine quite a bit as well. If you use this every once in a while, maybe just open packages or things like that and you only use it a couple times a week, you probably won't see this sort of wear for quite a while, but this is just something that people should keep in mind. And also you can see here, quite a few scratches. But to be honest, I actually like the way that looks. You see mine here. Year old, three years old. Alright, so since I mentioned the lock up there, I might as well mention the actual amount of blade play do I see? Do I see any blade play? Nope. Left and right? Up and down? Absolutely none. What about the old one? Absolutely none here. No left, no left and right, no up and down blade play. Does hit the, the left scale though. Unfortunate, but still usable, I must say. Alright, so there's the Spyderco Cricket. Really, really nice knife. Lots of nice little smooth lines. I do wish that the screws were not protruding. This is more or less of a pet peeve of mine personally, because I like to fondle around with my knives. And it kind of interrupts the flow of it just because the screws here protrude quite a bit, you see there. And this side actually has the, the Torx bit. On the other side, it doesn't, right? That's fair. However, on this side, these ones are flat and they don't have, they actually have a, they actually have a covering um, they actually have more or less the male and female part, but this one is actually a different screw. These two screws are different from these ones. Not a huge thing. I guess I'm probably being quite a bit picky about this, but I like to see all my screws being rather similar. It's kind of odd to me that this screw is similar to the pivot screw. These two, this is similar to the pivot screw. Well, these two are different altogether. So there you go. That's my review of the Spyrico Cricket. Absolutely love this knife. I've used it for quite a while, like I've said, and just the small form factor, it's very pleasing shape and sheeple friendly attributes that it has, and the very interesting and very useful and ergonomically friendly blade shape is absolutely amazing. I'm sure that the non serrated edge versions version would be very, very nice as well, although I, I like the teeth on this. As well, the lockup, maybe a little bit of an issue in the future, not yet, but I can see that being a problem later. Spyroco Cricket should be a very nice addition to your EDC. 
Hope you guys will leave comments if you have any comments. Take care.